So for human beings, existential angst stems from the fact that we are creatures of meaning, right? We are creatures of purpose. We are creatures of myth, right? We want to feel like there is a destiny to our lives, like there is a reason why we're here, right? And we've tried to address this existential itch, this agitation, through the creation of beautiful stories, beautiful myths, right? We've created narrative threads, religions, systems of thought that have placed the body-mind in a larger context, that have made us feel like we are part of something greater than ourselves. This is hugely important. But what are we, ultimately, when you break it down, when you shatter the myths, what are we left with? Right? And I read a great quote recently that said that actually we are dead stars looking back at ourselves. I mean, when you consider we look upon the heavens, we have the Hubble Space Telescope blasting new tunnels between the mind and the other, as Russ Anderson says, and we look back, right? And we are the remnants of those stars that died, right? The periodic table of the elements, all of it was manufactured in the furnaces of stars. So we are dead stars looking back ourselves, right? I mean, this idea is just astonishing. We are, we are poetry. We are, we are cosmic poetry. If that's not enough of a story to help you get up, off, get up in the morning, then, uh, then I don't know what is.